family 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 how you doing how you doing good morning good afternoon good evening shalom aloha salam alaikum and green rising and green rising and we are rising to the top family everything that goes on in this world is pre-planned it's already planned before i started my awakening my journey i didn't want to accept the fact that i chose my life everything that i'm going through everything that i've been through I played part, I played a role, I took part in it. And there's a scripture, there's a saying that whatever that's happening here is already happening in heaven. And that's why I always say that God knows everything that we do. It's, the, it's just that God do not step in because you chose that. You have a free will to, to do that. Sometimes we take certain paths in life and it don't end up the way we wanted it to end up, even though we see the signs that this ain't good for us, we still go ahead and do it. I tell people that you go through certain lessons in life to make you a better person. I'll give you an example. Let's say you grew up without a mother, right? You grew up in a single father home. You know how it feels to not have a mother, right? And so when you become a mother, you don't want to inflict that pain onto your child. That should make you want to be in that child's life. You grew up without a father. Now God has blessed you, the universe has blessed you, and you are a father. You don't walk out of your child's life because, oh, I didn't have no father, daughter. I didn't have no father. That shouldn't be an excuse. You not having a father in your life, and you know how that feel, that should make you a better person. That should make you want to be there for your kids. And I always say this, society says women are emotional, women are emotional. And I always tell you, men are way emotional than us. They just made us play the fifth, you know. It's, men are really emotional. We are all emotional beings. Society made it look like men don't got no emotions, it's only women. And I tell you all the time, men have, they can't even control themselves. They don't. And you about to watch this video, that will nail everything that I said. Men have emotions, they got emotions. They want to hear, I love you. They want hugs, just like women. You want to hear, baby, you look so pretty. Baby, you know what I'm saying? Men want the same thing. And I tell you, we want the same thing. You don't want me to cheat on you, don't cheat on me. You don't want me to hurt you, don't hurt me. God did not make women special to endure pain. That's not true. When your wife cheat on you, it hurts you. You'll be ready to take somebody out. It's the same way that she feels when you also, hurt, you know, sleep with somebody else. It's the same feeling. And until we understand that we're supposed to treat each other better, the, the world is going to keep going the same way. At this point, it's beyond polluting our air and the Illuminati controlling us. Right now, they have controlled us to the point where we are the ones that's doing the work for them. And so my teachings has always been that we are all the same spiritually we are all the same on the physical we not but on the spiritual we are all energy we are both negative negative and positive yin, yin and yang you know what i'm saying and so i just want us to do better and treat treat each other the way we want to be treated the scriptures say love the neighbor thy neighbor as yourself right as yourself christ said love your wife um your wife as christ loved the church the church is you. You are the body. You are your body is the temple of God. So Christ is saying, love your wife as you would love yourself because you are the church. Yeah? So men got emotions. Men need love. And let's do better. Let's not inflict the pain that we have gone through on other people. That should make us better people. Yeah? I love you for watching this. Give yourself a hug. Kiss on yourself. Can kiss this one love. You get what I'm saying? Like, it was really more so like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it was really more so like, I'm gonna make sure mine's straight. You know, they can't witness none of this. They, they, they different. They ain't never gonna experience anything daddy ever had to experience. You get what I'm saying? And so, like, man, how do you commit to breaking the title? That cycle to ensure, you know, your kids don't have to 
following those same footsteps? Like, what, what, what are the steps? What do you do? Let me read something to you real quick. I mean, a lot to me. Man, I ain't trying to grab it. Let me read something. It's been on my phone for five. Since I met y'all, I've probably been like six years ago. It's a uh, break, break generational curses. Quit yelling at your kids before they go to bed and expect them to sleep well. Quit yelling at your kids in the morning right after they wake up before school and expect them to have a good day. You set the tone for your children. You set the tone for... You set the tone for your voice that will always remember in their heads. You become the inner voice. Don't be the inner critic. Speak life, speak love, speak bravery, kindness and hope. Speak wisdom and truth. Most of all, listen to your children. I never had none of that. I get that from mine. Exactly. And that's my number one priority. Yes. I follow that. That's how I break it. And, um, you know, so when I do it, I live it. I live it. You know, the narrative shit. That's what they never wanted to pick up. Now, that's a man.